Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, right now, I'm gonna test a new product that I found. I don't know how new it is, but uh, I got a uh, request for it from somebody on one of the forums. It's called Immunet Protect. Um, it's by Immunet Corporation. If, from what I could find on it, it's basically a cloud antivirus. It's got a very small installer, as you can see. So uh, let's go on with the install here. Now it says this is a beta here, beta licensing agreement. Um, I don't know if the software is still in beta or not. I don't remember, but we'll try it anyway. So we're going to install it real quick. going to turn on my networking card here. We're not going to initiate a flash scan because um, we don't have any threats. This is a clean computer. Okay, we're going to cloud says cloud protection is inactive. We're going to try to activate it. I don't know why it's running in offline mode. Okay, there it is. Okay, it says there's 16,809 people in the cloud and we're protected from a little over 4 million threats. You have a history tab, a scan tab, and a settings tab. Um, basically, we're not going to mess with anything here. It's just um, two things you can turn on. is monitor application starts and uh, tray notifications if you want everything to be notified. And we're not going to do that, so we're just going to leave it just like it is, and let's start testing here. Okay. First one that I remember is a rogue. Looks like that one made it through. We're going to let it run in the background. This is another some kind of rogue. So we're going to keep, we're going to let that download. Okay, it says it found a W32 spy was detected. Quarantine was successful. Okay, so that's good. Okay, it says something uh, Win32 heuristic has been detected, but it doesn't say anything about quarantining it. So we'll see. Hopefully, it quarantines that. Here's that weird looking rope thing. Who knows in what language it's supposed to be in? This, uh, that link is dead. I remember that. There's that one, finally. We're just going to keep going here. Okay, it says another Win32 backdoor has been detected. And it looks like it killed it. So that's good. spyware stuff definitely uh, Chinese language pack ok 
Okay, actually, Windows Firewall has blocked this program, which is kind of funny. So we're going to let that run in the background. As you can see, we are definitely infected here. These rogues, just call them annoying. Okay, it has detected something else, an info stealer. See what else I can get to, if I really want to infect this system really bad. Okay, that info stealer thing again. Installed Google. So what I'm going to do now is because I'm getting low on time is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do a complete scan with Immunet Protect and I'll be back to see what it finds. Back in a second. Here's something. If you're offline, you can't scan at all. It says scan failed offline. So I actually have to hook up back to the net and I was getting bombarded with so many pop-ups that I couldn't believe it. So you actually have to be online to be able to scan. So as you can see, it definitely has no signatures on your computer. So as if you know, if anything um, gets on here that disables your internet, you're basically you don't have any protection. So, okay, so it's back on, so I'm going to scan again. So I'll be back when the scan's done. Okay, so the scan finished, and it said it found 17 threats, but I can't do anything about them. Um, same thing here, it says scan finished, your computer was scanned, threats were detected. Okay, so why don't we see unable to quarantine, unable to quarantine. It can't quarantine almost anything, it's cleaning, it's not good at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect, uh, well, I got Malwarebytes here. I'm going to install Malwarebytes just like I usually do. I'm going to do a quick scan, and I'll be back to show you the results of the quick scan. See you in a second. Okay, so I just finished scanning here. Found 45 infections. I mean, there's everything that you could possibly want. We have spyware on here, online games. We have malware packer, cube face, Trojan downloader. Um, let's see what else do we have on here? We got a rootkit stuff here for registry key, hijack, Trojan cube face. Lots of cube face and Trojan downloader. There's a bunch of stuff in here that uh, made it past uh, Immunet Protect. Um, this is the essential online cloud antivirus. Um, no, if you don't have online connection, you have no signatures. And secondly, its cleaning abilities aren't that great. They definitely need to improve on it some more. Um, it caught some stuff, but nowhere near enough where it should have to be anything of value in today's world. Um, as you can see, it didn't do too great. So, I'll, like I said, I'll give it like a 3 out of 10, maybe a 4, 3, 4, something like that. And uh, that's it for this review. I'll uh, end it here, and I got one more to go. Talk to you guys later.